Okay, guys and gals, about 10 seconds of the obligatory disclaimer. If you want to read the whole thing, just pause the video. All right, everybody, let's take a look at the S&P 500. See what's going on. It's been a few days since I looked at this. Um, I've been I talked about, I think it was uh, last Friday. Today is Thursday, so it's been uh, almost a week. I said that uh, watch out for the first week of February. Now, we're still a ways off from that, about uh, 11 days, 12 days, whatever it is. Not quite two weeks. Week and a half. Week and a half of trading days anyway. Um, and since since then, since last week, which uh, I think I put it out on the 14th or the 13th, somewhere around there, had a pretty pretty significant, significant decline in the S&P 500. So it's down, what, 300 would be uh, 4,508. So whatever, not quite 350 points, you know, getting pretty close to that, right? Somewhere around there. Um, and I'm looking at this chart now and on the daily, it may try to bounce here a little bit. Just be mindful. February 6th is the end of that cycle right there, right there. And I think this other one was <clears throat> February 8th. Okay is this cycle low right here, which is the, the other one, the big one, okay? So I've been saying, and I still believe this, really like the first or second day of February, all the way out to like maybe the 9th, I'm just gonna say second through the 8th, is really an area you wanna pay attention. Now we may get a little bounce here and do whatever, but I don't think it's gonna be sustained, guys. I don't think it's gonna be sustained. I'll, I'll talk about that here in a minute and elaborate a little bit why I think Think that's the case. Um, so I, I think you know we might get something as we get into the middle of, of that little cycle. It might sit here and stall a little bit. Might even come up and then make its way back down. That's what I think is going to happen. Something. I don't know if it's going to bounce or not, but I do think there's a price decline that's going to happen into that time time period right there that I talked about. Okay. So obviously the MACD and the daily is looking pretty pretty wide right here. Uh, the big daddy's not bounced. It may and it may not. Certainly a little bit too early to talk about that. Okay. And the SMI is still pointing down. Okay. Um, let me go back here for a second and look at this day right here. Okay. Okay. Nothing significant there. Just wanted to check it. So that's the deal on the daily. Let's look at the monthly. I'm going to switch over to the monthly. And I'll switch the drawing set over to the monthly here. Now remember, I talked about this before last week, <coughs> excuse me, um, June, June, July, May, June, July, might even be August, but right now this is the end of June for the monthly cycle low, this big purple cycle. Okay, and look at this, guys. Okay, bob boom. Okay. And it hasn't reached zero. Okay, zero. Say it hasn't even reached zero yet. Zero's way down here. And after months, heck, uh, more than months, one, two, over two years, a eh, year and a half, it's, yeah, year and a half, let's say. This nonsense, a propped up market that's not, it's not real. It's, it's not based on any, any value. There isn't, I mean, th this stock market isn't based on reality. It isn't like these companies have the value that the stock market is trying to suggest that they have. It's just all made up numbers, guys. <laughs> these companies don't have anywhere near the value of where the stock market is. It's just ridiculous. They're extremely overvalued. You know, 
Though there's an old saying, how much is something worth? Whatever someone's willing to pay for it. That's its true value. At least when it comes to uh, financial and monetary things, right? You know, if you go buy a, a, a Chevy, your everyday ordinary Chevy sedan that might sell for $10,000 or $15,000 or $20,000, and that's what you can get at the dealership, okay? But then somebody comes along who's got more money than they know what to do with and goes and pays $50,000. Well, guess what? Whatever particular car they bought, Chevy sedan, what was it worth? $50,000. That's its true value. They may not be true for all the other Chevy sedans sitting on the lot, but that's if some millionaire walked in there and just wanted to throw money around, that'd be the true value of that particular Chevy Chevy sedan, right? That's that's what the saying really means. Whatever someone's willing to pay for. The market is what will, what is what will, people are willing to pay for. Okay, but that doesn't represent its true value. Okay. A bunch of propped up nonsense. Easy money, guys. It's all that's all that is right there. That was all just easy money. But that's coming to a close, guys. And uh, this says so. As it pinches down more and more, it reminds me exactly what happened in Oats. For those of you who haven't followed my YouTube channel, and I haven't put, put been putting out as many uh, videos on YouTube because YouTube has basically sh shut down my my ability to gr to grow the channel. So. Uh, I don't waste my time at YouTube and Google there. They're, uh, I won't even get going on what they are. They're just nasty. So anyway, I don't put out as much, many videos because it's not worth my time to put up with their nonsense. So as I said before, we'll, we'll think about maybe taking this uh, video content off of YouTube. We'll see what happens when I get around to it. But right now, I, I look at this, especially this MACD, and um, this just looks like what Oats is basically going through. This, this is going to roll over. This isn't going to do some miraculous bounce and take off. I don't think so. Then days are over for a little while. We got plenty of divergence warnings saying this, this is... Uh, there's still much more price decline to come. And this is a monthly chart. So, yeah, I think going into the middle of 2022, yeah, it, we could get significant price decline. I still think we're going to get over 1,000 points worth of price decline from that number, which that puts us at um, 38. I think it'll even be more. I think you could be 35, 36. 1,200 point decline, it's going to happen. Mark my words, the market will come down more than 1,000 points. Now, whether that all happens in 2022, I don't know. But it's going to do it. And it will come down and meet this 50. This 50 isn't, isn't going to rise forever. It's going to start leveling off. It's going to start, it's, it's going to give up a little bit of aggressiveness and start to turn over. So that's coming. Yes, sir. That's coming. That's what that says right there. That's what these red dots say right there. That's what this is doing right there. That's what this is doing right there. There's no getting around it. And there's plenty of room below. I'll be honest with you. I don't even think um, this was anything compared to what we're, we're going to get. This little COVID pandemic BS. Nah. That, that wasn't the big drop. The big drop is still to come. All right, switch over to the weekly. So remember, on the monthly chart, we were talking about basically summertime. There's going to be a pretty significant drop somewhere in summertime, and it you know it it may just be working its way towards that all the way through all the way from now through there. Okay, we're going to get a thousand point or more decline, guys. It's just a question of whether or not we get it in flashes or gradual. You can get those kind of flash, big point drops, like we've had this week. 242 point decline this week. 
or 242 points worth of range, but almost all of it de is decline. Okay. Now this is the chart that really kind of stands out. Look at the weekly. Right now it's at 43.43. We're like knocking on the door. Okay, knocking on the door. Which which already makes um, the quad witching uh, look like child's play. This is way more significant. This this push down is more significant. So. Will we go below this weekly? Yeah, I think it's going to happen. We're going to come down and touch this. And I think it's going to go below it. Now, for the weekly chart, the uh, I think it was the 16th. Let me just look at this. Yeah, January 16th, which was just yesterday. So this may be the weekly low. This may be the low in the weekly chart for a while. It could bounce from here. But, and that is possible. We may get that bounce. But, um, you know... There's plenty of room below still. Big Daddy's running out a little bit of steam here. Could get that. SMI's got plenty plenty of room to go here. Okay, the next weekly low is May 8th. So there, I talked about this before. May, June, July, August, take your pick. <laughs> okay, there's gonna, what's this one over here? That's August 28th. So... Late spring, all the way through middle, late summer. Yeah, that's a big risky time. That's what's happening there. All right, I'm only going to cover the S&P 500 for now. I think there's a lot of risk going into February. First week of February still looks very risky to me. I know Steve Miller over on Ask, Ask Slim. Um, if I remember right, last week they talked about, he talked about, with him and his team talked about, I think middle or late February. So, pretty decent alignment there. We're both talking February. He's got it a little bit later in the month. Which, to be honest with you, let me go back to the daily. Let's go back to the daily here for a second. Let me get to the daily drawing set. See, there's one out there. There's one out here, this cycle here, for February 27th. So, that's probably the one he's looking at. Now, our dates may not be exactly the same. This is the one I'm talking about right in here. I think it's the bigger of the two. But he's talking about this one right here, which is the very end of February, February 27th. Now, I don't, I don't remember what his dates were, but it's probably within a, a week or a few days of this 227. It's probably somewhere near there. It might be a little bit this way. It might be a little bit that way, but it doesn't really matter. The point is you've got... More than one source talking about February being a pretty significant month for price decline. Okay. It could happen in the beginning, where I think it's going to happen more in the beginning. He's got it more towards the end. Take your pick. I don't think it really matters. I'd be very careful about February. All right. I had a... Uh, I had a troll. Like, I always get trolls come to my channel. I don't know. I don't even know why they bother coming to my channel, you know. I don't even know why people come to my channel. YouTube doesn't allow... YouTube, just so everybody knows, YouTube does not allow my content to be broadcasted to the general community. Uh, you know, the general YouTube community. Okay, they just they just don't. They stop allowing it to be broadcasted. Now, if you're a subscriber, you might pick up notifications. That's if they didn't unsubscribe you because they're doing that too. <laughs> so... I literally have had net loss on my subscribers the last few months. I, I was getting six, seven, eight hundred subscribers a month, guys. And then out of nowhere, just like that, they started unsubscribing and preventing my content from going out and whatever. Because, like I said before, I'm probably on their bad boy list because, you know, I'm a conservative and, and, uh, and I, and I, I'm not afraid to hold back and tell people what I think about. What's going on in the world, and they don't like that. You know, if you, if you don't follow their narrative, they get all they get all mad and pissed off. You know, and block you and all this other stuff because that's the way they are. That's the way the left is. If you don't do what they want you to do, then you're on their bad boy list. But you know what? That's okay. 
because I don't, you know, my, my strength doesn't come from them. And they can do whatever, they can do whatever the hell they want. It's their platform, you know? So that's just kind of why, so everybody just kind of understands what's going on, why I'm not putting out as much content as I used to, because I'm not going to waste my time and effort on, on Google and YouTube. They're not worth my time and effort. Screw them. <laughs> Screw them. I don't care to give a damn about them. They're about as anti-American as it gets. I'm a Texan. I love Texas and I love America. Google and YouTube, not at all. If they were to crash and crumble today, I wouldn't miss them. Not at all. Wouldn't bother me at all. That's how I feel about them. So anyway, I'm about to switch over to the hourly. For the few people that are actually getting this content, because a, a few might stumble upon it as they're browsing around, if you want to uh, subscribe to the premium membership, then just click the join button below this video. Okay, down there you'll get the hourly chart for the S&P 500. And once a week, I'm going to just do once a week for now. Um, I'll put out the, all the other futures products. If I have a chance to put out more than once a, week, once a week, I will. But right now I'm just going to do once a week. It'll probably be a Friday or Saturday. I'll do a review of all the uh, of all the futures products I cover, which is, for those that don't know, that includes, of course, S&P 500 futures. You get the hourly chart on that. Um, crude oil, gold, natural gas, wheat, oats, live cattle, and feeder cattle, okay? So I'll cover that once a week. You get all that for $5.99. After Google rips me off for about, whatever, two bucks, um, so I get what's left over. So subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to click, click the little bell to be notified of all the videos that I put them out. $5.99 for the premium membership, guys and gals. I mean, it's ridiculously cheap. It's as cheap as it's going to get. Okay. And the content's pretty good. You can see the cycles that I cover here. The cycles have been bang on, by the way. They've been really good. I mean, I mean, you can just look at the chart here. Before I switch over to the daily chart, I mean the hourly chart for the premium members, just, just look at this. I mean, this came right down and this one came right down. Right into this time, guys. This one just came right down into it. And I think, you know, I don't know if this is going to bounce and do whatever, but like I said, I think you're going to get another cycle low right there and one out here. I think it's just the cycles will, will continue to prove to be pretty accurate. There. That one looked pretty good there with the red one. So, anyway, there you go. I'm going to switch over to the hourly chart to cover for the premium members. Talk to you all real soon again next time.